All right, so I'm going to do a cumulative frequency histogram, and what I want to show you is this. On a recent exam I gave, I had a bunch of students, and six between 60 and 69, six of them scored um, between that range. So between 60 and 69, I have six scores. Between 70 and 79, I had 15 scores, but what that really means is between 60 and 79, I had... 21, because 6 plus 15 is 21. Between 80 and 89, I had 24, but that means between 60 and 89, I had 21 plus 24, which is 45. And between 90 and 99, I had 15, but that means really between 60 and 99, I had 60. Now, this one should always be your total, because it accumulates. Um, now, as always, Please, for the love of God, use rulers. I know I'm not because, well, I just don't have a choice on this thing. Use rulers, use evenly spaced intervals, and please make it neat. Um, I know I'm not being a very good example here. I get that. So this is 60 to 69, this is 60 to 79, 60 to 89. 60 to 99. This is my break. This is my, um, sorry, this is my, these are my scores. This is the number of students. And because I have to go all the way up to 60, I'm going to make, oh goodness me. Uh, what I'm going to make is a complete mess of this. Um, oh my goodness. Ugh. I would be so unhappy if somebody gave this to me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh. But you know what? This is just a learning tool. So, 9, 10, 11, 12. So you're going to have to bear with me. This is my y-axis. This is disgustingly awful, but like I said, if you're doing this for real, please, please, please make sure you use a ruler and graph paper and make it nice and, um, nice and neat. So the first one's at 6. And so, you, you know, I'd obviously make that for 6. Next one's at 21. <laughs> yeah, I should have gone up by 3s. Actually, if I had gone up by 3s, this would have worked out perfect. The next one's going to be 45. I'm going to have to erase this, but it's, and then you'll, but you'll see in a minute. Next one's 45, and then the next, last one's going to be 60. But I'm going to show you why one might do this. And then the last one's at 60, which is... Oh, this is breaking my heart to do this. Um, and I would give it a title like uh, Test Scores. Underline it with the straight edge. Now, the reason why this is useful is because, look, if I wanted to find out, well, I know I have 60 total, and let's say I said, well, I wonder what, how many, how many, uh, you know, where 40% is. Well, 40% of 60 are 24, and so if I drew a line at 20, 24, I could see where the percentile lies. These guys are all under 24. These guys are under 24. But this bar is not. If I wanted to say, um, let's say 50%, where's the meet, um, 50% of 60, and that's at 30. And so you can see where it is. Um, here I got 21. So you could say 
what percent of 60 is 21? And you can figure that out as well. Uh, let's see. If you did is over of equals percent over 100, <laughs> if you want to. Or you could just say, uh, let's say that'd be 21 over 60 equals x over 100. So what is 21 out of 60? You get 35, so that'd be 35%. So 35% would be 21. That's it. So you can do all sorts of things, like 45 out of 60 is 75%, and this is actually your third quartile. This is your second quartile. Your first quartile would be 15. But only six of them were in the first quartile. And that's it. I hope that makes sense. Um, like I said, please use rulers. Uh, this whole thing just broke my heart.